What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. Thank you for watching. Today we're going to be reviewing some new products that I got from Maybelline. So the first one is their loose finishing powder. So I've been struggling to find another baking powder or setting powder um, that I love because I'm just so obsessed with my banana one. So hopefully um, we will find a new setting powder today. Um, I got this in the color Fair Light. And yeah, you get a lot. Um, and I really like the packaging. So I'm excited to try this. Hopefully it works out. The other two products that I got were the new Super Stay Matte Ink Lipstick, Lip Gloss, whatever you want to call it. Um, I got it in the color Chai Genius. And it's so funny because I'm obsessed with chai. So this was like so perfect. I was like, this is meant to be. I'm literally going to love this. This is the color. So right up my alley we love a brown nude and then i also just picked up this lip liner to try it is the maybelline color sensation shaping lip liner in the color rich chocolate so i'll show you guys here it does have like a red kind of tint which i'm a little nervous about but i think hopefully with the um the matte lipstick or matte lip gloss whatever um they, they play nicely together and will hopefully give me a brown lip versus like a red brown lip um because i don't really like that like terracotta when it kind of gets orangey yeah we don't i don't like that um so yeah i'm gonna start off with my face makeup and of course i'm using my wet and wild photo focus foundation in desert beige this is a brand new one so you know the other one was getting a little a little gross whoa my chin does not need all that and we're just gonna blend this out with a beauty blender. Okay, and then for concealer, I'm going in with the Jeffree Star Concealer in C7. Okay guys, so I'm all done blending out my concealer and now it's time to try the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. So I'm gonna open it up and it seems like, looks like this on the inside with all those little like, oh yes, here we go. Oh my God. Oh God, okay. I'm gonna stick that right there for now. Okay, I'm going to tap a little bit out into the lid. I actually really like the packaging and how it's coming out. It, like, reminds me of the Jeffree Star one. Like, it doesn't come out a lot. Like, it's very controlled, like, how much you want to come out or how little you want to come out. So, I actually really like that. Um, the texture seems really nice in the lid. Let's see. Ooh, Okay doesn't feel heavy at all I'm also going to be doing a nose contour for you guys today so we can really see how this um setting powder you know holds up and how well um, the color stays like how pigmented it, it is okay so I'm just going to take the rest and reverse contour. I haven't really been like doing like a crazy contour. I've kind of just been like manipulating with the setting powder and I've actually been like liking it better because it's just like less stuff on my face. And my skin is just like breaking out all the time, but that's not really new. I'm just saying I feel I'm trying to find different methods to help my skin get better. All right, I think that's good for now. So I'm gonna set that aside and we'll be coming back to it because I'm gonna jump into my Anastasia Beverly Hills kit and start contouring my nose. Okay, so I think today I'm gonna be taking this color right here and this is just an IT Cosmetics um, 
eyeshadow brush but I like it for contour because it's just like a really really good brush so you know you could use whatever and I just go right on the side of my nose like so and if you guys didn't see my like step-by-step -step tutorial on how to highlight and contour then I will leave it um, up above somewhere so as you can see it like looks pretty red right now but we do a little setting and that'll be fixed so to make this line sharp I'm gonna go in yes honey wait I'm like living for this powder right now There is like no way, oh my god. Banana might be kicked out, you guys. This is just so much lighter. The other one is like, I don't, I can't explain it. This is just feels like so light on my skin. Like it feels like I don't have like a lot of makeup on right now. Okay, so I, I'm just gonna like leave this on for a few seconds. Um, I'll like just tap it in for a little bit, kind of just like fix anything and then I wipe it away. So I'm going to wipe it away and reveal what it looks like. You guys, I am obsessed with the setting powder. I absolutely am in love with it. I feel like it did such a nice job of, um, not, not sinking into my skin, but it's like there's no better way to describe it. It just sinks into your skin, and I know that's like, ugh, clogging my pores, but no, like I need that. I want that for setting powder. I want something that goes like into my skin and it doesn't lay on top. So unfortunately, the banana, it does sit on your skin, and it gives you that like crazy matte, like there is not a pore in sight. There is not a discoloration in sight. And this one actually does the same thing without ugh, looking too cakey. So this is actually kind of like a miracle. And I don't know why I haven't tried it before. I also think the color looks better on me. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think that the banana is like a little too yellow. And this one kind of makes me look like more, I don't want to say alive, but looks more like me. Looks more um, true to my actual skin tone. So guys... We have found a new setting powder, so that's really exciting. Um, I'm really happy. I'm really happy right now, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of bronze up my cheeks a little bit with this color right here. And I'm going to be taking a really big fluffy brush because, like I said before, really trying to avoid a heavy contour. Because as you can probably see, my skin is just, you know, whatever. Okay guys, so for highlighter, I am using the Jeffree Star Setting Powder in Beige. Okay, moving on to brows, I am using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in um, Dark Brunette. And then I'm setting them with the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. Okay guys, so moving on to my eyes today i'm actually going to be using my eyebrow pencil for my eyeliner so i love this color brown and this girl um that is a victoria's secret model her name's elsa i forget her last name but i'll put the instagram video of her doing her makeup in my description down below so you guys could see she used like this brown eyeliner and then kind of smudged it out almost into like an eyeshadow it was very pretty and very natural so that's what we're going to be doing today Okay, 
Okay guys, so to smoke it out, I'm actually um, using an old trick that I actually have put on my channel before, but she used to. So just put like a card or something here to get the shape that you want and then blend it out. I'm using a, a short flat brush, which you're gonna wanna do too, just so you could really smoke this out. Obviously, this is not what it's gonna look like. I just wanna apply the color there and then smoke it all out. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara and I am using the Roller Lash by Benefit Cosmetics. This is my absolute favorite mascara, you guys. I got it for Christmas and I it's last made this long and I use it all the time. So that is a plus. I really think it is an amazing mascara that you guys should invest in. Okay, so my mascara is all on and I'm gonna jump into the lips. So I'm gonna start out by using the Color Sensation Shaping Lip Liner in Rich Chocolate. Okay, so obviously this looks very strange right now. Even though like I'm kind of into it, like this gives me like very um, 90s vibes, but I actually really like them. They're very creamy. Um, if you do like mess up a little bit, I find that it was easy to wipe away and kind of like redo um, it. So I really like it. I really like the color. It's not as orangey as I thought it was gonna be when I um swatched it. I was a little nervous on my hand, but it actually shows up on the camera too and even in person as a more like it said rich chocolate or rich brown and not too orangey and not too red so i was really excited about that as my dog is barking sorry about that um but to move on we are going to the super stay matte ink lipstick in chai genius and this is what i am like so excited about Oh my god, it tastes like chai. Oh my god. I actually, I'm so dumb. These were um, brand new. Maybelline just came out with them. They have like coffee flavored infused in them. And I guess, uh, I mean, chai is not coffee. It's literally means tea, but uh, this tastes like chai. Oh my god. So I kind of just took the lip liner and added some in the corner of my mouth and went over it a little bit again just to clean everything up and kind of add that ombre effect. Um, so I'm going to, because as you guys know, I hate mattes. I literally hate this feeling. I have to add a gloss. So I'm going in with the Too Faced Melted Latex Gloss. And I used this in my last video. Guys, this is just like a great um, clear gloss. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I am so excited that I found a new go-to setting powder. I am literally in love with this, you guys. And these lips, yes, I did do them very dramatic and very big for this like natural look. So probably wouldn't do this every day um, or for a natural look, but I love these lip products and this chai taste. Oh my God. Um gross cringe but anyway yeah that's basically it you guys um i just wanted to share some or review some new products for you guys so i'm happy that i love them all and i would 10 out of 10 recommend them um yeah don't forget to like this video and comment what you think down below and don't forget to subscribe to this channel i will see you all soon bye Mwah.